The next time you walk into a bar, listen. There's one sound that's essential in crafting a cocktail. A bartender's shake. So, I asked bartenders, JP, Gina, and Eddie, to dissect what that sound actually does. At DC's Union Market, JP offered to make me a Pisco Sour. Uh, typically what I'm listening for is just what the ice is doing in the shaker. You can hear if that ice is breaking apart very easily and quickly. So if you hear that, you curtail the amount of time that you're shaking it for, otherwise you're going to over dilute it. You are a Pisco Sour. Cheers. Then I walked over to Gina, who offered me a drink she calls the cable car. There's a lot of rhythm that goes into shaking an actual drink. When you're making that drink, is it important and what it tastes like? Well, absolutely. It's one of the things when you have your shake and you find where your rhythm is and you find like your beat, then you can like you know when the drink is ready to go. Even at home, I have the same style because it makes a better cocktail. Now Eddie is preparing a Ramos Gin Fizz. That takes 12 minutes of strong shaking. Sure, you could have a machine shake over 12 minutes, but there are a couple things that a machine won't tell you, such as the temperature and the feel and the texture of a drink. Just by shaking it with a back and forth motion in the ice, the proteins start binding, and instead of becoming a splattering mess of liquid, it becomes one creamy drink. Would you like an opportunity to shake it yourself? Sure. Why don't you give me a little instruction? Uh, no, just feel the rhythm, do what comes naturally. <laughs> I think you're a little bit better at this than me. why we don't, bartenders don't go to the gym. <laughs> I'll give it back to you. In the end, I found out I'm not that great at bartending, but I'm definitely good at tasting.